There we go. Hey guys, Oliver here, and I just got new lights. Um, this is the YN216 from Yongnuo, and this is a generic softbox LED type light I got from Lazada. And anyways, today we are going to be talking about stuff that I learned in my first year as a film student over at Meridian International College. And if you don't know, I am a film student and I have finished my first year just recently and I wanted to tell you guys stuff that I learned at Mint as a film student. And who knows, this might influence your decision whether you're gonna take film in college or maybe another course. But anyways, I hope that my audio was good because like I'm not using my onboard like um Boya like microphone cardioid and dolphin cam camera right now instead I'm using a lapel which you can obviously see I'm not gonna try and attempt to hide that because I want as good as audio quality as possible Now walking in into film school I was like super scared not knowing what I'm going to enter because it's not a primarily just a film school It's a multimedia it's an art school all around and there are a lot of people that are like super artistic great at music great at arts great at digital design film and so many Many of that and all I knew going in was I knew how to write and I knew how to hold the camera that's practically it and my background of writing isn't for stories it's for essays so like what am I getting myself into all I know is how to hold a camera and to be honest with you film wasn't my first choice I wanted to take multimedia arts but like holding up that paper telling me what course I wanted to enter and then I saw multimedia arts, film, theater arts, and like so many other courses. I'm like, damn. I'm like, I chose film because I know that it's a more specific industry and I know that there are going to be more people catered at that specific focus because in multimedia arts you have so a very broad sense of selection on what you can take after college and like film it's still a broad sense it's still a broad collection because you don't actually know what you want in the future but like at least everybody is like in the same bubble i guess i don't know how i explain it but i hope that you guys get what i'm trying to say and like i am very happy i chose film not at first um i was a bit like lopsided when during my first few weeks, but like over time, I'm like, I'm happy with film. And so, yeah, um, so here are some stuff that I learned as a film student. Um, firstly, you learn about a lot about film theory in film school. You learn a lot about um, lighting, sound design, script writing, and all of that. And all of that, I was actually able to incorporate in my very first year. Like usually colleges, um, they're gonna put the specialized subjects over like when you're third year, fourth year. But in um, in film school in Mint, you got all of your foundations ready at your disposal. In my first year, we had photography class, art appreciation class, script writing class, film language class, which basically teaches you. Um, how to invoke emotions based on your lighting, your sound, your mood, everything. It's just purely foundational and it truly is really good to have as a start because like you are entering a big world and not knowing your building blocks is gonna be very, very hard. And yeah, I learned all of those stuff. And like in, in photography, they taught us how to light, how to like set up backgrounds and stuff like that and how to capture emotions in a frame. And for script writing, um, we were taught how every event have to have a reason why something happens. Going into script writing, man, it made me enjoy films less. Because all I was, all I'm doing right now, whenever I watch a film, is what's that? What's happening? What's what's the story here? What's the sound here? What music is coming out from the scene? And so many stuff like that. And all of that really takes away the immersion for me. But at the same time, it's good as a filmmaker because I'm able to dissect all of these stuff at a whim's notice. I don't know that term, I don't know that. Other than that, other than all of those technical stuff, lighting, sound, also sound design, I loved sound design going into film. It, I'm practically right now, I am focusing on a lot more on sound than I thought I would, to the point where I'm act I've actually experimented on creating my own tracks for films, um, or just like experimenting on sound um, design in general and sound engineering and I'm gonna um, plug some of my audio here right now actually if um, if things if things are 
If things go as planned, I'm probably using my own track right now as the background of this video, which is good and cool. And I am amazed. I don't have to look up internet now for like, what should I, what should I go? Um, royalty free music, no copyright, YouTube and stuff like that. And right now, like since I delved into sound design, I'm able to make my own music. And even though they're not the best, I have something for free and that's my own and it adds to my own personality. And yeah, um, other than that, let's see. I also loved how, I also love the people at Mint. Actually being a film student, you're surrounded by so many people, so many um, amazing people with different diversities, different backgrounds, different um, levels in life and skills and so many other stuff. And like um, get it going into that school, it helped me become more liberated. Um, and what's more is that I'm not scared to try new things. It's because that school, um, our character formation class, which is practically like good morals and right conduct, we had this amazing teacher who taught us how to step out of her box and don't care what other people think as long as it benefits you, as long as it's healthy for you, then go for it. Don't be afraid what other people think. And I love that teacher so much. Also, my battery is running red. I don't want this clip to like die out on me, so I'm going to change out the battery. Okay, and I'm back, and I hope that my frame didn't change that much. I don't have the sturdiest tripod around here, so yeah. Um, anyways, what was I talking about? I was talking about stepping out of my boat and trying out new stuff. So yeah, um, being around so many creative people, I was um, forced to step out of my box. My first year at Mint like, helped me, like, it taught me more about myself than my craft. If you get what I mean. Like I learned so much technical stuff and it and it shows in my photography. Hashtag follow my Instagram. Plug, plug, plug. I don't know where I'm gonna put it here, but like follow my Instagram. Yeah, um it I I gotta say, like it technical technically it helped me improve so much as a creator. However, the thing that helped the thing that it helped improve the most is me as a person. It helped me know my limits it helped me broaden my horizon it helped me push my limits and honestly knowing more about yourself and seeing things in a bigger perspective is definitely one of the best things that college could ever give you i i can't say much about other colleges like i i don't study there but like over at mint i'd say in uh my future secured my it it just as long as you're open to change and you're open to learning more about yourself and reflecting and being and like working with people around you, I'm gonna tell you that you are gonna grow a lot as a person, grow a lot as an artist, grow a lot in your craft. And if there's any takeaway that I want you guys to take from this video is the stuff that you learn, share them with others too. Impart to others, mentor other people. Because that's the only way we're gonna grow our community, grow our industry, help other people, build other people up, and in turn, give back to the world the stuff that the world gave to you. So yeah, that is like a very deep way of answering the question, what's the stuff that I learned as a first year film student at Mint? But other than that, it's practically it's it's practically the stuff that matters it's these things that matters technicalities we can like leave those aside for now um foundational stuff foundational stuff on your craft foundational stuff on you as a person that's all i could ask for in my first year of college and i'm gonna end it with that if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you like how I lit this place up, hit that subscribe button for more videos and um, let's grow together. And that's it. I hope to see you guys in the next video and hopefully in future shoots. Once again, my name is Albert and thank you guys for watching.